Welcome to CarverEquipment.com. We hope you enjoy this video from our customer at Cross Timbers Farm in the beautiful North Carolina mountains. You can find more great videos about small family farms, ranches, and estates, current issues, and equipment topics at the 8th Day Chronicles YouTube channel link below. The original video covers many topics and was voluntarily shared and produced. The twine starts here. It has an arm that comes up off the baler where you mount your, your, your bale of twine. It comes down through a, through a port here into this compartment and it goes through that through another loop here through a tensioner that comes out right here this has a tensioner on it to keep you can see the springs to keep the correct tension on your baling twine through a pulley and it comes up around this bigger pulley with three grooves in it the top groove if you have your baling twine in this very top groove that will set your baling twine to the maximum number of wraps around your bale. The middle one will do the middle setting and of course the smallest one will do the least amount of wraps. Bale. We have tried both all, all of them and so far right now we're the happiest in the middle setting. I know the top one rolled probably 30 feet or more maybe more than that of, of baling twine around our bales. So we went with the middle setting and we may even drop down to, to this setting. Okay, once your baling twine goes around this pulley, it comes through another pulley right here. Then it goes through another tensioner right in there and comes into the, the what I call the baling twine port where all the, the wrapping happens on the baler it comes through a as i said a tensioner right down there it comes up to this twine arm goes through a pulley through another tensioner and as you can see the baling twine just kind of hangs there <laughs> 